Right guys, welcome back, welcome back. You remember I trashed my RC car? The Radix 6. Well, it's looking pretty knackered, but it is actually back in one piece. So I had to straighten out this front suspension with some mole grips, easy. And then, yeah, you can see this is looking pretty battered around here, but you know, that's okay. It's all, all good, all fine. Um, the drive shaft was bent. I actually, again, just straighten that out using a couple of mole grips, and it's actually really straight now. I can't even remember which one, which side it is. I ordered a bunch of new parts, which literally turned up next day. This is like a suspension arm. I need to put that on at some point, but yeah, it's all working. I've actually done something different with this little antenna here as well, because I've got my crossfire system and the antenna going in there, and I've kind of taped the other end of the dipole in there. Anyway, it's just better than having like wires flapping around. Oh, and I also got some nice new wheels. Look at these, covered in mud already. I've done a little test run, as you can see. These are Proline Badlands, and I'll tell you what, the grip is insane. This thing accelerates so quick now. So yeah, it's good to go again. Light's starting to go out there. Let's go for a rip. Also, I'm gonna stick this in here because I wanna see what kind of current it's drawing. It's quite interesting, all this stuff, because it's you know all related, powertrain systems. So I'm gonna strap this in, and we'll see how it goes. I've got two battery packs as well. I've got a 3S. That car will run on 3S, not quite as fast. Um, and also a 4S battery as well. So I'm gonna try, I obviously know how mental it is on this one. I'm probably gonna just use this one to get to and from the woods. Um, and then use this one for like tearing around. This battery tray is busted, but actually that's quite a good thing because it means I can fit the other LiPo in there now. There you go, how cool is that? I managed to strap that in with the Velcro as well because that battery's not as big. It's all fired up as well. I'm really interested actually to see what it will actually, you know, what the power output of this thing is. Um, I'm guessing, you know, it's going to be at least like, you know, a few hundred watts, 500 watts maybe, maybe even a horsepower. It is nuts, this thing. This is even on, this is just on 3S. Actually, it stays more upright on 3S. Kicking some dirt. It's good now, it's starting to dry. Pretty cool carving up all this stuff around here. <laughs> Try some crazy jumps off of here. Hey! <laughs> This is the car park where Curbster does his antics. So, not me, my little uh, FPV car. If you've not seen it, go check those videos out. Whoa, he just got completely buried in that dirt. Carving up the car park. Oh, straight into there. Let's stick this GoPro on here. Where's the mount going? Oh look, it's repairing file again. Can't find a mount anywhere. All right, so out of interest, let's have a look, see what the, uh, the watt meter says. Quite interesting, isn't it? 11.9 uh, watt hours, whatever. Uh, 50 amps peak, 50 amps peak. So, okay. Um, what's that low voltage? 10 volts. And 570, right, so 580 watts. That's pretty crazy. I mean, it's not quite a horsepower, is it? But it's, that's quite a lot. I'm gonna stick the big battery in and see what happens. Get the big one in. 
maybe the watch will be the same i don't know i shouldn't think so i mean the RP motor rpms are obviously going to be a lot higher but i don't think i can get this in here without we'll just give it a quick run guys and then i'll take it out because it's not the best to have this knocking around inside here I'll slap it on see what happens <laughs> oh, i can never get these flipping pins in when it's cold this is an old lipo pack as well it's done really well just to use that for like spot welding yeah he's a lot faster <laughs> obviously crazy let's go into the woods yeah whoa jeepers that wasn't good that shock tower is definitely gonna break completely at some point i need to get a new one I was looking at there's there's some hardened ones. I really want that wire hanging out there. All the... There's some hardened ones which you can get, but see it's bending again already. Every time I take it out, I'm bending that back. That's rapid on 4S. It will go up to 6S as well this car, but I haven't got a 6S. I haven't got a 6S pack at the moment crazy little thing isn't it <laughs> something is what gonna 100% break in here gonna hit a tree or something <laughs> so funny there's dogs coming oh told ya <laughs> Stuck sideways. That's not good. <laughs> nice when you get little jumps. Stuck. Right, should we check the uh, the watt meter? See what's see what's saying. Right, 54 amps, gone up a bit. Uh, 14 volts lowest. 831. So it's like double the power. That's nuts. So it's well over horsepower. I was actually having more fun with it down in the car park. I think I'm gonna go back down there. Just launch it off here. <laughs> what's Ben? feeling something is completely bent yeah that shock tower again oh my god that shock tower is the bane of my life it's got such a satisfying sort of sound when it kind of lands or hits a jump Whoa! <laughs> battery's done so do the amps go up when the battery's done 54 amps nah still the same oh that motor's nice and warm right so i'm gonna stick the other battery back on that'll get me get me back home right back now so it has been shredded within an inch of its life <laughs> really do push this thing pretty hard it's getting on okay though controller's hot um it's just this this is a nightmare like every time you flip over you just bash that and that's just gonna bend 
I don't know if there's any sort of like, uh, you know, shock tower saver or something like that. Maybe you could 3D print something to just go on there or something to um, protect it. But look, look how bent the suspension is. It's just, yeah, it still drives all right, actually, funnily enough, when it's like that. But yeah, anyway, it's taken a beating. This pack is definitely, because it's old, it looks like it's like, I don't know if it is puffed, I don't think it is, but yeah, it's all good. One other thing as well, we've got like a little, we've got a busted cap here as well. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I mean, it might, might potentially short out or something, I don't know, but it's all water sealed as well, so you can't really do anything with it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, little bash around with this car. I'm really enjoying RC cars at the moment. I think it's just, you know, a bit of release, let off a bit of steam and not actually injure yourself in the process. <laughs> Catch you later, guys.